New York City is facing a problem practically as old as the city itself. Rats. They're multiplying too fast and for the city to do anything. They're, they could take over if they wanted to. I mean, it's, it's sickening. It's ridiculous. The city is on target for a record year of rat complaints to its 311 hotline, exceeding the more than 24,000 it got last year. There's actually a live rat right there in his burrow. Under a plan codenamed Rat Reservoir, health department inspectors are targeting specific communities in the Bronx and Manhattan. We did comprehensive assessments of the neighborhood for rat activity and then basically assigned a dedicated case manager to work with that neighborhood um, on uh, outreach and education. The city health department's resident rat expert, Caroline Bragdon, thinks the spike in complaints is likely due to large piles of trash being left on the sidewalk after last winter's heavy snowfalls when garbage trucks were rerouted to handle snow removals instead. Bragdon has expanded her inspection team to nearly 50, inspecting dozens of buildings across the city each month. When we go in to assess a neighborhood, we're looking for all signs of rat activity. Rat burrows, which are their nests, um, rat droppings, um, runways and rub marks, which are the paths that rats travel. Um, we're looking at things like gnaw marks or signs of damage. If rats are found, the health department removes the trash, sends out exterminators, and warns residents. We'll say we found rat activity on your property. Um, you have five days to remediate. Uh, good morning and thank you for joining us. The city's comptroller, Scott Stringer, who has taken on the role of self-appointed rat czar, says more needs to be done. We have a rat crisis in the city. We need the Department of Health to get their act together. We need better protocols, more accountability, because rats have a, re are a real health issue. Recommendations for fighting rodent infestations include sealing cracks and holes and putting trash in sealed containers. There's also the potential for fines. But the health department admits no matter where the rodents roam, it's impossible to put a number on just how many rats call New York City home. Joseph Frederick, Associated Press, New York.